first bow we're going to be looking at today is the Hoyt Powermax. So this has been a popular bow for a number of years now as a kind of um, mid-range Hoyt ready to shoot package. So this is called their ready to hunt uh, package. So it comes with your quiver, your basic sight, drop away rest, stabilizer, sling and your peep sight. Um, so it comes with pretty much everything you need to get started minus your arrows uh, and your release aid. So we're just going to fire a few shots through this and kind of um, talk through how the bow uh, feels to shoot. So for those of you that have shot Hoyt before, it has that very distinct kind of Hoyt feel after the shot. It's not a, um, you know, you wouldn't describe it as dead in the hand like a dull shot. You can kind of feel, you can feel the shot a bit more. Like it's a very aggressive feeling shot after you release the string. And to get that feeling, you do have to work a little bit more during, during the draw. So these cams, as you can see, once I got to about here, I really had to kind of work to get through that last stage of the draw. But that's a really common thing on a lot of um, speed bows and hunting bows to give you that extra bit of speed towards the target. Uh, as you go up in price into something like a, um, a Hoyt Carbon bows or something like a Hoyt Axius, the cam system on those is a lot smoother and a lot easier to draw. So obviously it's a little bit harder on more price point bows. I believe the speed of this is 328 feet per second. So it's still quite a, um, quite a fast bow in the scheme of things but it doesn't have that really aggressive draw like you might have on a lot of other um, high-end speed bows. Stops are nice as well. Um, there's no give or any kind of sponge once you hit the back wall. So this is just a... Um, a standard cable stock, so it's not actually hitting the limb when you're at full draw, but it feels very similar to a limb stock, you know, it's quite solid once you hit that back wall. Um, so it's certainly, yeah, for a thousand dollars cheaper than something like the, um, the RX-4 in Bearbo, this ready to shoot is definitely very good if someone's looking to get into the Hoyt uh, side of compounds. One thing um, I will say, this is your first bow and you haven't shot a bow before, is one thing to keep in mind, although it's got quite a big draw length range, I believe it's um, 26 through to 30 inch on this particular cam, they do offer a long draw edition as well. When you choose your draw weight, you only have a 10 pound range of adjustment. So this is a 70 pound bow, so the most we can wind this down is to 60. So if you've never shot a uh, compound bow before, it'd be worth trying out a different bow in store to see you can actually pull 70 pounds before purchasing this. Whereas a lot of the more price point bows will have 20 to 30 pounds of adjustment, so you're kind of guaranteed you're going to fit somewhere in there. So just make sure that you're comfortable with the weight you're pulling before purchasing this bow. But yeah, for around the $1,100 price point, the wall's good, the speed's good, the shot feeling is really good. Good accessories on here, I mean, you don't have your micro adjust on the side like you might have on something like uh, some of the PSE price point bows but I think a lot of the um, technology and the pricing that would have been put towards the accessories has gone back into the performance of the bow itself so for those of you that like I said before have shot a Hoyt bow before this still has that really nice Hoyt feel for a, a much lower price tag than some of the top end bows. So now that you've seen the power max what we're going to compare it with is the Obsession Turmoil RZ this is in the ready to shoot package as well. So it comes with your sight, your quiver, your arrow rest, peep sight, stabilizer, and sling. Very similar um, accessories to the Power Max. Again, any adjustments in your sight don't have the micro adjust, so you do have to adjust those with an Allen key. Uh, the other features you'll find with this bow is it's a 350 foot per second bow. So it's a little bit faster than the Power Max as well, but it's got a fairly nice draw considering the speed. So we'll fire some shots through this to compare also.
you'll notice the uh, back wall is really solid on this. So you can see as I kind of pull back past the valley, it really drops into that stop. So these um, these stops through here on the cam are rotating around and hitting that limb, so that's why it's so solid. The valley is really good. For a bow that's advertised at 350 feet per second, you're not really feeling that uh, real effort during the draw, so that's a nice part of it as well. You can see it really kind of kicks back towards me after the shot. Um, I think part of that's due from the quiver. So the quiver's obviously got a lot of the weight towards the top of the bow and it's got quite a short stabiliser. So I would recommend uh, you looking at purchasing this bow, you'd invest in a slightly longer stabiliser, you'll put some more weight out the front of the bow, just to stop the bow from kind of kicking up after the shot. But that's, that's a fairly common thing you'll find with a lot of bows. Um, they're generally designed to be shot with some kind of stabiliser that's you know, got enough length to counteract that little kick. So it is, um, yeah, it's certainly a nice bow. It's the best ready to shoot package bow that we sell. Well, when I say the best, it's the most expensive one we have. Um, so I'm not sure what I said before, but this retails for 13 50 Australian dollars for the bow with everything on it. So if you're looking for something that's kind of more upmarket in the um, compound bows, but it's your first bow or you just want something where everything's already installed on the bow, this is where the terminal is a really good option for you if you're looking for that kind of higher, um, higher market bow. Uh, it comes with America's Best Bow Strings installed as well, so a very reputable string company. So it's got really, really good um, quality strings installed as well. Uh, yeah, it's just a nice bow to shoot, really. Um, I definitely would put a longer stabiliser on it to stop that kick. Uh, you'll also find it's got a little bit more adjustment in poundage than the Power Max. I believe you've got 20, maybe 30 pounds uh, of adjustment in each of these bows. I don't think it's the, um, the standard 10 pound range, but don't, don't quote me on that. I have to check that out. Uh, as far as draw lengths goes, I think this goes down to 26. So with a um, 30 inch max, which is what I was shooting it at um, for those last few shots. So draw length wise, it's very similar to the Power Max. Shot feel, again, very similar. It's nice coming off the release aid. Um, there's not a lot of hand shock or vibration, given how little stabilization's on the bow. Both of them are gonna be a good choice. I suppose if you want that little bit extra adjustment in poundage, that's where something like the Turmoil might be a good fit. If you're looking for a speed bow, the Turmoil might kind of fit into that category. And if you're looking for limb stops, the Turmoil would be your go-to. Power Max, obviously Hoyt's had a fantastic uh, reputation and a fantastic name for a number of decades now. So if you're really wanting to stick in the Hoyt brand, then the Power Max is definitely a really good bow for you. Um, especially being a little bit lighter as well, this bow is a little bit heavier just based off the weight, the length of the riser. You can see it's, um, it's a bit longer than the Power Max. I think it's two inches longer axle to axle. So it is a little bit heavier. The Power Max is quite a light bow. They're both gonna shoot fairly similar. It's purely if you like the, the different feels. So this has got a bit of an easier draw as you come into the stop, whereas the Hoyt kind of, you have to work for a bit more to get that extra, extra power out of the cams. So uh, yeah, that was the uh, Obsession Turmoil RZ. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe. Uh, otherwise, you can find all these bows listed at elizaarchery.com.